Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to Let's Build a Little Modern House. We are here back uh, on this custom map that I just made for the last episode. And we're going to continue on what we kind of started last week. So this is kind of the plan we came up with in the last episode. It was really quick. It was just a little uh, cinematic time-lapse video. But uh, you kind of saw the drill here. Today I hope to give this some shape and put some meat on the bones here uh, and try to make it look a lot better. I won't start off with a facade because I think the facade uh, is, uh, well for my case, the thing that kind of gets you going. Um, I think we already have everything we need here because I have an idea on how to make this look good. Uh, and for me, uh, it's all about trying to get that... Um, get the shape up like the general shape of the build up so that you can kind of uh, see where this is going and uh, before you start putting too much effort into let's say uh, the rooms in the back so uh, what I'm gonna do is build it like that and uh, it's gonna go like that so the front is gonna be just like a massive cube of uh, glass it's gonna be amazing I, I think it's gonna look so so good and be so cool uh, and I'm gonna have a massive overhang in the front here like this, so it's gonna just um, continue like that and go one block on the side like the bottom one uh, and then we will just remove all of these blocks and then put that in there like so so that is really nice and then we'll take this underside block and extend that all the way up to this like that and the same goes for here, like that. So you already got kind of like a cool shape going. I really like that. I wonder if I should keep some blocks on the side here. We'll play around with that. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna do that and just add a little bit of of this. And I'm gonna use some world edit to kind of move stuff up. But just trying to. To make that there and extend it here we'll see how it kind of turns out with as we get going here we might have to change the plan but it's good to have something to kind of work with when you start here so we'll do that and then there we go like that and take that one and that one and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven stack El 11 up so there we go um, that is pretty cool just like that um, but what if we I just want to see how it would look if we do like a block on the corners uh, I guess we could use some concrete again like the dark gray concrete that's gonna add just a little bit of contrast so we're gonna remove all of these and then bring this up like that that is also kind of cool. Um, that might be better than having this uh, open side or just like that. Um, I'm not sure at all. Let's, let's do this and just play around with that. Uh, we can always go back on it if we don't like it. It's not a big deal. It should be very simple to, to fix that. But then I have an idea on how to make this top a little bit more interesting. And that is to surround it with uh, like a trim of slabs. Like that. And then we get like this super cool overhang from the top here. Uh, which is going to be uh, hopefully looking pretty good. And then we just um, gotta take this, I think, all the way to over there. And then set white uh, concrete. Whoops. Like that. Which is pretty cool. Uh, and then we will surround this then by this here all the way around. We're going to e add even more to the top of this. Like an artistic touch. So it's going to be even more interesting. Uh, and I have something that I've been trying to figure out on my own uh, with like sketches and stuff uh, and it, it's gonna act as a nice little way to um well let me just show you what i mean so we have that that is a beautiful start i love 
the way that looks so far. Uh, and then I want to add a thing going up like that. And then the same on this side there. Uh, but what I want to add is something that uh, goes like this and then kind of arches upwards like a jump almost. So I think we're going to do like four blocks like that. Uh, and then I guess we got to try to figure out the slope we want to go on first. So it's going to be like that uh, and then maybe even... Like that. I'm not sure how that's going to look, but uh, and then we've got to make sure that it kind of ends on Okay, what if we then just take this no this and that and then move that um, Move one I think Because now it is perfect like that uh, so then it goes like so and then this one will be four and then we have that cool shape on the top and that is going to um, extend all the way over there so I'm just gonna guess here uh, stack 20 I need way more than that stack um, 35 I think we were spot on Oh, one block too much. <laughs> um, so let me move that. And that's going to act as a shade for the, um, the lights or the windows we're going to have in the ceiling here. But I don't want it to be completely covered like that. Uh, so what we're going to do is to for every, I think every other block, let's just see um, how this like aligns up in the end. That kind of works. Um, yeah, so all of these here is going to be cut out. Or maybe we'll have a couple, let's say five blocks. And then we have one, just so we can kind of connect them up for structural support. And then five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, okay, so we'll do uh, that. Just move them over a little bit so then we have like three on either side like that uh, and then we'll do the same for the upper ones this is so that we can have skylights without having oops the direct sun hitting in because uh, as I tried to explain in the last episode is that I want this to be like uh, like Hollywood Hills inspired Beverly Hills um, like a very luxurious area for uh, not only modern houses, but I guess this area here is going to be for modern houses. I'm not saying that we're going to start a series on this, by the way. It's just kind of the way I, I like to think when uh, when I do build houses like this. Oh, no. I've done a mistake somewhere here. Because then we have one, and then two, one, two, one, two, one, and then this one's going to go there. So that's not going to work. Well, that's just perfect then. Um, okay, so what if we go in to there and then we have three blocks like that. Let's cover all of these up. Uh, and I want this to be like even. So we have three blocks on the diagonal there, so this kind of works. Uh, and what if we go to now? So then we have two, two, and then the final one there uh, and that is actually better so let's do that uh, so we'll cover up all of these again and start over here so this one's gonna go like three blocks in and then one two three four five 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 and one two three four five yes that works that's cool. Uh, so then we'll just continue this over here like that. That's going to be super cool because it's going to let a little light come through uh, for the skylight windows that I want to have, especially I want to do the living room like super grand with a very high ceiling height. And as I said in the last video, like a very open plan 
So I think having some skylights to bring in some natural light would look good. But if this is built in, as I said, like in a Hollywood-ish area, the sun can be pretty strong uh, in the middle of the day when it's straight or coming straight from above. So it's good to kind of put some shades on for that. Uh, so that's why we have this uh, semi shading on the top here. And it also just looks pretty good from the front. So let's cover that up here. And that, yes, that was super tricky. Um, five and then three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, voila. And that looks dope. I like that. And so how does that look like from the front now? That is gonna look pretty good. Uh, imagine the view from this house here with that massive window just overlooking the lake here. I would not complain. Definitely would not complain. Uh, I just... A random idea that came to mind. What if we... To give it a little bit of an industrial look. That is kind of cool, but I think it ruins uh, the minimalistic vibe we had. Ah, oh, this was tricky. <laughs> uh, let's fix that and fix that and then fix that. Not so bad, is it? All right, so then uh, we're going to bring this one back. It's going to go all the way back to here. And this is going to act as a patio as well. So it might go out like um, like this. And be like a patio where you can walk on. That's going to be kind of nice, I hope. Let's see, just bring... Man, my block placing is not on point today. Uh, so we bring that over to like something, let's say like that. Um, and then... I want to use this dark oak wood. I think that's what I chose up here, isn't it? Yeah, the dark oak wood. Uh, and then uh, this whole build here is going to be out of that. Um, more or less. So it's going to just have this big facade like so. It's going to be like that. And then with this one coming over like that and then this one is going to kind of extend a little bit as well so that we can have a pillar going up here as you probably can tell i have a quite a decent idea on how to build this i've been planning this in my head for a while and doing some sketches and stuff i've been really inspired to do modern for a long time now and it's so good to actually do that uh, as we just finished uh Lost Medieval Project, River and no, uh, Roseville. So it's good to, um, to just let my inspiration go free a little bit. So I'm going to bring that up there, actually. Um, so that goes up like so. And then either we go with this dark block again, which we did in the front, which might work here. Um, or we just go with a complete wood. And this one's going to continue in the back here. So that's going to be like the um, something to um, to kind of tie it all together. Is these white lines that are kind of um, attached all the way around. And that's going to be like a way to make this whole feel like a complete built um, um, project here. So let's do that. And then that's going to go all the way to one block over. And then set white concrete like so. This one is going to continue around here. Like this border here. And then I think most of this is just going to be dark oak. All of this. Like a box of dark oak. But we're going to have some big windows and stuff in it. Uh, to give it some light. It's going to be uh, the pool house. So this is where we're going to have like uh, a little shower to, um, to get yourself uh, ready before you jump in and after. And also some storage and like control units for... The, um, the pipes and the heating and stuff for that so that's going to be pretty cool as well but we have that it's very dark it's super dark <laughs> uh, but that's okay that's not too bad uh, that's also going to be used as a way maybe to sit out maybe we can have a little barbecue here or something 
I don't know, uh, but that is really nice. Why don't I bring this one across here as well? That could possibly look pretty good. If we do something like that. What was that sound? <laughs> there was this creepy sound here. Um, bring that across again, just to give it even more of a... Like some depth. Yeah, that is looking dope. Uh, so my idea is that a lot of this roof here will be used for uh, a private uh, balcony for the top stairs living room. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Because my idea is that there's going to go some pillars here. Because we need some way to support this massive box here. So the, um, that's going to go a block all the way up. So from here, there is, I think I'll use white. Uh, and what floor? We're on this level right here. So there is gonna be... Should I bring in some... Some light in here? Whoops. Just so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, so there's gonna be like a division here where... Where there is... Um, this place right here is going to have like a super high ceiling height, but then we're going to have like a uh, gallery kind of thing, which is overlooking this, uh, and that's also going to have like a living room, and then also a master bedroom on the top here. So it's going to be a very nice and open room. Uh, so what we got to make sure now though, is that this here is not connected to the glass, so we're going to bring something up. I'm going to try with the dark um, concrete and bring that up like so. And we can do that on the other side as well. So that is going to go up here. And then go all the way to the, to the roof here. But then this one is just going to be filled up with set um, stained glass. No. Uh, I don't know how to do this. Uh, well, let's just uh, stack one, and we kind of messed that up, didn't we? Wow. Okay, um, that didn't work <laughs> clearly. Um, I've never seen that happen before, though. Where the glass planes just don't connect. That's really weird. Um, I wonder if I could just update this. Yeah, okay. Um, so that goes up like that. That's actually looking pretty good. Let me just take some water here. My throat is getting dry. So we're not going to do some interiors today. It's just kind of... Um, of uh, need to make sure that the, the interior kind of works with exterior. So it's important to kind of just have the main elements in place before we uh, do anything else. So the front is basically just a big aquarium almost, like a big square. Um, and then we're gonna use quite a lot of this. Oh, it's so dark in here. Uh, not grass, the dark oak. That's also gonna be a main material for this build. So I guess that's gonna go at least up to here. Like so. And I guess if we want to be smart about this we bring this one out to here just a little bit about OCD and stuff having the lines meet uh, and then bring this over here so we have that which is pretty cool and then we can use either just glass or white I think white's gonna look pretty good as well um, let's just do that as a main component here. So we do, um, uh, yeah, we already have that, don't we? Yes. So that is actually looking really good already. I like that. Um, and then there's this overhang here, like that. Uh, and then let's go to the inside here. So it's going to be like a floor divider here. And here, 
I just want to see if we can do like the balcony stuff. Um, yeah, so the floor is going to go up here and then go into, um, I think we're going to have about the, like, the division from the living room, which is going to be up here, where we're going to have, I think we're going to just use, let's just put these here, uh, like glass to uh, have it like a border here so you don't fall off. And then we will have uh, like a living room area here and then the master bedroom. So let's see if we can plan that somewhat. Uh, it's super dark. That's why we're going to have the skylights in here. Oh, look at that race. That is beautiful. Um, so uh, we do that and then we kind of go up here and then maybe we'll have a door leading in to the master bedroom. And, and I think we'll do... Either we go like that or we... No, uh, so... We get in and I think... Yeah, what if we then do this goes like a little something like that and where we have the bed in here and then we'll have we can have the bathroom there and then a walk-in closet right here and then a massive open uh, luxurious uh, master bedroom so that's gonna lead out to this which is gonna be here and then I want to do, I, I also want to do some organics on this, um, like some bushes and stuff. So uh, I imagine if we go out, let's say three blocks on either side here. Uh, and then we. Let's say we go to the middle. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, so five is here and then this is the middle. So let's go to the middle. Uh, and then we'll have a glass rail on this, I think. Well, we could also just use this whole platform as a balcony. It feels a little... Yeah, well, let, let me try something here. What if we do... Remove all of this. Uh, I have another idea which just kind of came to mind. So we'll do... changing plants here uh, the parents gonna have a private exit to this uh, the stupid micro sounds again and, and then we're gonna have like a communal exit area here which goes out uh, and it'll share the whole balcony here and then we'll have just um, that here so we'll have an open area but might maybe we do like um, divide it up somehow so that uh, we can have some more private areas for the parents perhaps but uh yeah that looks super good uh, let's step back oh man I, it's been like years since i ever did anything closely related to modern but i like this i think it closely assembles the idea i had um in mind as well and i like it a lot but we've been uh, spending uh, quite a bit of time now on this episode so i think we're going to end it there I could build on forever, but I love this. Make sure to leave me some uh, feedback down below, guys. It really helps me out. But thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoy. If so, make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigoman, and I'm out.